Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you a dry winter skin regimen and because it's sweater season I have received a lot of requests for those of you suffering from dry skin as I am to share with you my favorite dry skin products. Now since I've had oily combination skin in the past and currently I have normal to dry skin, I totally understand both sides of the spectrum. It's very difficult unless you have totally normal skin to have a skincare regimen, to find a skincare regimen, excuse me, that really really works. Works. And so I've heard those with dry skin woes putting things like avocado and even mayo on their skin. You know those DIY mask videos that you see on YouTube. But as most of you have probably figured out by now, I am not a DIY kind of girl. So I like to find quick and easy solutions and I think that these two new Kiehl's products, especially the Ultra Facial Overnight Hydrating Mask, is probably the best hydrator that I've used ever. <laughs> and even though I've never put it to the test, I'm fairly certain that mayonnaise is a lot harder to take off than a legitimate facial mask. That being said, I don't believe that DIY masks are bad or harmful, but I do find that real legitimate skincare products are probably the best way to go. So today I'm going to share with you my nighttime routine for deep hydration, and I'm going to be featuring Kiehl's products, my favorite two of the moment, and these are intended for those of you with dry skin. But now, without any further ado, I'm going to show you my bare face and I'm going to show you how I apply each of my nightly skincare products. So as promised, this is a sneak peek into my nightly skincare ritual. I'm actually going to start my skincare routine with a clearly corrective dark spot solution and this is just going to be applied to my red spots. And you always want to apply your spot corrector serum only onto your spots and not all over your face or you won't actually see how effective the serum is on your spots. Now I'm going to take my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate and I like to apply this to the driest spots of my face. So I'm especially dry in the T-zone area here and I'm also quite dry around the center of my face here, around these cheeks. And I'm now going to finish off with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Intense Hydration for drier skin. And this is a good one to use even throughout the summertime because even though it is intensely hydrating, it's very light. A lot of moisturizers for dry skin tend to take at least five minutes to sink in, but this one dries almost instantly. So I just apply it with my fingertips all around my face and just massage it in. But I also like to take it down the entire neck you never want to forget the neck because as you age, the neck will give away the signs of your age more than even your hands or your face. Now, if I want to pamper my face or if my skin is feeling particularly dry, I'll use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Hydrating Mask. And I just like this one because it has such a thick, dense gel texture, but it sinks in overnight so you don't wipe this one off and my face just feels so soft in the morning after I wash it off. So I'm just going to pat it into the skin gently and I like to apply it all over the face. And I really love how it instantly makes your skin feel protected and nourished because it is a slightly thicker gel texture. It's not very watery, so it's easy to spread. It will make your face look a little bit shiny, but it does sink into the skin, and in the morning you just wake up with a glowing complexion. And that's a wrap for my nighttime skincare. So I hope you did find the application part a little bit helpful. I know it's difficult to see how to layer and properly use a serum, and I do get a lot of questions about that, so I wanted to make sure I focused on showing you exactly where I put which product. I have tried lots of other Kiehl's moisturizers in the past, and as much as I like Rosa Arctica, I do think that it's a little too heavy, even the light version. It's just a little too rich under makeup, but that is an anti-aging cream, so you have to keep that in mind. I just think that for my current routine, I prefer to layer serums and use a simple moisturizer at night, and then I can mix and match my skincare throughout the rest of the week depending on how my skin looks and what I feel it needs. Now if you'd like to enter to win a set of your own new ultra facial products then go ahead and leave us a comment down below on this YouTube video page in the comment box what failed DIY remedy you may have tried or heard of to cure your dry skin. And for an extra entry into the contest follow me and Kiehl's on Twitter and tell us your dry skin problems using the hashtag pound dry skin problems and in a few weeks we'll choose 
five winners to win one of each of these new products. I wish you all the best of luck with the giveaway and I hope that this video inspired you to try skincare that has been clinically proven effective. So thanks so much for tuning in everyone and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!